Here I go. <laughs> How is she here? Oh wait, Brazilian martial arts, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Fyodor and welcome to my reaction to Odd Taxi Season 1 Episode 10. Last time on, Kakihana actually got broken out by Odukawa and Dobu, although they had some trouble with Tanaka chasing them with, you know, his gun, but in the end they were successful. And Dobu even succeeded in shaking Kawazawa off his trail by defeating him, essentially, and making him post the video of his defeat. So it's not clear if we are ever gonna get more Kawasawa in the future, but the last episode actually let us go with the reveal that Orukawa's parents are dead. They didn't leave him, they died. So very interesting to see wherever that goes. But as always, if you want to support me, you can like, comment, subscribe or share this video. These are generally the best things that you can do for me for free. And otherwise, there's my Patreon, where you can get things like early access to non-live reaction shows that I'm doing, so all taxi at the moment and more stuff in the future. And of course, full-length reactions to both Demon Slayer, all taxi and anything that I do in the future as well. So if you're into that, check that out down in the description. But with all of that out of the way, follow the link down in the description to the reaction, and I'll see you there. Well, uh, that was a full episode, a lot happened, but there's not much for me to talk about, so this is probably gonna be rather short. Kakihana probably got taken out of the story completely now, we know that he's working two jobs now, trying to pay off his debt, but other than that, we'll probably not see him again. Then we got the Homo Sapiens bit, which, you know, the high schooler wants to team up with Shibagaki. I'm interested where well, that is gonna lead, because... Aside from the fact that Baba is connected to Rui, there's not a lot of connection for any Homo sapiens stuff. So I really want to know where that comes into play later. But yeah, as we assumed, Yano and his goon didn't really fall for Imai's distraction tactics. Or rather, Urukawa's tactics that he was telling Imai to use. They went for him anyway, found his new address and are probably gonna kidnap him. At least that's the plan for them. But after Yamamoto's attack, you know, leading him to an abandoned or empty construction site, he's now on Orikawa's side after, you know, a pretty hard kick from Shirokawa, whose capoeira is apparently more than just talk or dance. But yeah, uh, Dobu has his Giga Brain plan that I probably could follow but not retell here and then of course the whole double triple agenting of Yamamoto and I Imai and and most importantly Urukawa of course as he's trying to fuck both Yano and Dobu in one go and thereby you know their boss as well because then they can't give him money anymore and speaking of the boss of course Urukawa ran into him but Orukawa didn't know it was the boss, and even though the boss knew Orukawa, he didn't know anything of his involvement with Dobu or Yano or Kakihana. So it was just a nice talk about, you know, Orukawa being the kidnapper. But eh, I actually don't know. I really want to find out soon who's hiding in this apartment, why he had a drowning or a suffocating flashback when when he was strangled by Yamamoto and of course what his accident is and did we hear of that accident before or was that even no information for Goriki that Urukawa was involved in an accident but yeah the stuff that Goriki is investigating seems to be deeply tied to what his sickness is because it's gotta have something to do with you know his facial recognition abilities because apparently the High school girl, the missing one, was, as I was saying, Mitsuya, the black cat. But if the body was dumped a month ago, or longer, then it can't be Mitsuya because because she's still part of Mystery Kiss, as far as I can tell. And she was in Odukawa's taxi, and so on. Except for maybe the idol Mitsuya isn't Mitsuya, and they just swapped her without telling anyone. And I'm really interested because Odukawa was suspected by so many people to be the kidnapper and he has something to do with the sunken body in the first episode because of the drowning uh, flashback. So I'm really excited for the big reveal 
that's gonna happen in the end. And honestly, I wanna just dive right into the next episode because there's not a lot of theorizing more than that for me to be done here because I'm not sure exactly what, what this facial recognition thing is about. Maybe it's got something to do with, you know, them all being animals. But we heard Yano referring to himself as a porcupine, so even if that was the first one, finally someone else referred to themselves or to other people as an animal. So, so maybe that's not it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for the last three episodes. And yeah, if you want to support me, you can, of course, like, comment, subscribe and share this video. These are generally the best things that you can do for me for free. And otherwise, there's no Patreon where you can get things like early access reactions to Odd Taxi and other shows that I might start in the future, as well as full length reactions to Demon Slayer, Odd Taxi, and of course, as I said, all of the f shows that I'm gonna be starting in the future as well. So, if any of that interests you, you can go check that out in the description. But with that, I'm gonna leave you again. I hope you'll join me on the next episode as well. And until then, bye bye.